Okay, welcome back. As I mentioned, we needed an adjustment to our algorithm. And now we have step 6, write complex number in required form. We've done this with A. Let's label step 6 in A. And now for B, step 6, looking at our general form at the top of the screen, modulus argument form, Z equals R, we've calculated R as 2 times square root 5, times quantity cosine theta plus i sine theta cosine of the angle negative 2.68 plus i times sine of the same angle negative 2.68 this is the modulus argument form of the imaginary number and now c exponential form for parts 1 through 5, we're done. That work was completed in the analysis in B. And for step 6, following the general form at the top of the screen, Z equals R. R we calculated as 2 times the square root of 5 times E to the power of I times theta. Our theta value is negative 2.68, so our exponent will be negative 2.68i. This is the exponential form of the complex number. We've completed a, b, and c for the complex number represented by the position vector op. Let's now analyze the complex number represented by the position vector oq. In this case, I'm not going to work through each process step by step. Rather, I'm going to provide the answer, and you can work through the process to ensure that you understand the algorithm. A, Cartesian form, Z equals 5 minus I. B, modulus argument form, Z equals square root 26 times cosine negative 0 0.197 plus i sine negative 0 0.197. I will show you in the argan diagram where the negative 0 0.197 is coming from. When we calculate the angle using tangent and using the absolute value of x and y, the angle is from the positive horizontal axis clockwise, which gives us a positive 0 0.197. When the imaginary number is in quadrant 4, you want the opposite sign of the tangent calculation. Thus, our angle value is negative 0 0.197. And C, exponential form, Z equals square root 26 times e to the power of negative 0.197i. These are the three forms of representation of the complex number represented by vector op. And again, a good exercise for you is to work through the algorithm for a, b, and c to ensure that you arrive at the same values. We've completed our requirements, and this concludes the lesson on Argan diagrams and representation of complex numbers.